Welcome to our channel. Today's story is Catchy Work. Bill and I doing our thing like we always did. That kind of work really starting getting into it. It's what we live for. The scout had found the catchy that morning before the sun came up and word came down that we would be working this new job site just east of the village. Working alongside two other teams of guys, we were starting to make some progress. I never did catch the names of the other guys, no reasons to, my memory for faces in pretty pitiful. Especially given how crowded our village has become with laborers, chances are we would never see them again anyway. Before anything unusual happened, Bill and I were inside the opening, working away. It was dark, but we didn't mind because we were covered in the treasure, practically tripping with it. It was our job to extend the entrance and make room for a dozen teams of extractors. Those scout guys had done a good job finishing this job site. There was plenty of booty to share with the village and the area around the catchy entrance was nice and soft for us to cut away. The first sign of trouble was when Bill and I fell into each other. It felt like the entire catchy had been turned on its side and Bill ended up on top of me with our legs tangled together. Bill and I had been in some pretty tight spots, but never like this. Embarrassed and making sure we didn't look at each other, we pushed ourselves apart and tried to figure out which way was up, reorienting ourselves quickly. Bill was sticking his head at the catchy opening when we suddenly felt ten times heavier. Aware of a strong breeze coming into the opening, it felt like the entire catch was being picked up from the ground. I saw Bill duck his head inside the entrance as he struggled to stay upright. At this point, I saw one of the other guys stick his head into the entryway. I felt a flash of appreciation for this unusual gesture of kindness and concern when the guy was inexplicably knocked out of sight. This huge fleshy tube crashed into our co-worker, sent him flying and caused a loud bang. In Retrospect, Bill could not have seen what happened because he had been facing towards me and away from where the guy had been understandably curious about the noise but oblivious to the abrupt departure of our colleague. Bill found his footing and made his way out of the opening, convinced that I needed to follow and warn him. I immediately hailed a high-pitched school and witnesses Bill got brutally slammed into the air up and away from the catch. It was that flashy tube again. Stunned, I had no idea what to do next. I had no time to consider my options or because I was immediately forced back to the deepest part of the treasure. I felt like the entire cage had been thrown, spinning up through the air and away from the job site. That is how I ended up floating for two days in that pond on an apple cache turned boat. I can't believe I found my way back to the aunt village from there but wouldn't be happy until I find my body built safe and sound. I hope you like my story. Kindly like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for more stories.